So since we are done with the vCenter server deployment and we are ready with the ESXi host as well as so our last task to deploy the NSX. So here uh, we can see we have a vCenter server ready. We have both the hosts ready. So let's start deployment of NSX. So I'll go with the open VM. So here we are going with the latest version. So the latest version which we have that one 4.1.0.2.0. So I'm going to pick it. Same nomenclature I'm going to pick here as well as. So I'm quickly jump towards DNS and looking for the IP. Its IP is I'm recall that it's RDX NSX01 dot lab dot local okay. so if we need to quickly verify i'll go there quickly do the ns lookup server 100.168.10.1 ip which i need looking for 11.121 if i'm not wrong this is the correct rdx nsx01 lab.local perfect this is the correct and before that we need to go with this like i said then next so i'm going with the medium medium concentration is somewhere 624 i'll show you the overall utilization of my cpu or my machine you can say the cpu is uh, pretty much minimal and the ram which consumes so far where we have a two host and one vc working so it's consuming just half of it and we still have um, enough memory to you know deploy the nsx so let's go with the medium if uh, let's go with the small so if required we increase the resources so let's go with the small first so here we need to enter the password so what i'll do i'll quick and put there so just to avoid the typo i have you know copy it and paste it here so I'm going to use it the same criteria 30 second for time password all are having the same password and the rest are normal network host name go with the host name what we have here like I said its name I'll go with the entire name which is that IP the same IP which we have here subnet mask in that case we need to give like this gateway 1 there is nothing IPv6 DNS is 1 such as lab dot local configuration NTP we must have the NTP I have paste it somewhere here is the NTP IP copy it paste it here true true and then rest would be optional click on the import then it would take somewhere three to four minutes okay now it's successfully deployed we need to do it like this make it this one modified interface connected interface toward the LAN which we have created while it's getting up I'll show you the topology what I did let me quickly try to grab my machine here So now we can see these all are sitting on the same leg we have nsx deployed we have host deployed which is having the same management lan 11.101 111 112 and 121 and all are having the same gateway same dns same ad everything would be pointing to this one and this is also like like an internet router so it's forwarding the traffic toward the internet cloud It's, it would hardly take some time 
what we'll do we'll initiate a ping from the machine ping dot oh sorry it's a ping 192 dot 168.11.121 yeah it's pinging now and where it sits it would take some time let me quickly try to take the access one to one You have to take time. It would take again five to ten minutes to get it up entire services. So in meanwhile, I'm just pausing the video. I'll resume once uh, you have up. Now we can see the UA is up, and I'm trying to log in first time into the NSX manager okay the first thing which we need to do I'm going to do the licensing first and under licensing the license which I'm going to be used that is uh, trial one or evaluation one and check this one I don't want to join this one save it don't show skip and now I'm jumping towards licensing. So license, we can directly go to the system licenses. Add license. Perfect. So now the first thing which we am going to do, I'm going to add the vCenter server here, adding the compute manager. Here I'm going to add the compute manager which is we have here. Same name. Vsphere dot local one exclamation mark create an able trust registered perfect so it's bind with the vcenter server and now if i'm going to the host prep we we need to create first uplink profiles as well as the transport zone and then we'll call it under the transport node profile so let's let's quickly create that first so let me jump to the system and click on the transport zone 
एड जोन ओवरले टीजी वी लैन टीजी परफेक्ट एंड नाउ गो टू द प्रोफाइल एडप्टिंग प्रोफाइल हियर वी नीड टू डिफाइन होस्ट अपलिंग प्रोफाइल इफ आई एम शोइंग यू दिस वन दिस वन कंटेंस होस्ट अपलिंग प्रोफाइल विच कंटेंस द वी लैन थर्टी एंड द आई पी रेंज इज वन नाइन टू वन सिक्सटी एट थर्टी डॉट जीरो सो वी नीड टू पिक दिस वन ओके टीमिंग यू आर गोइंग टू मेक इट लोड बैलेंस सोस वी आर कंज्यूम बोथ द लिंक्स हेयर अप लिंक वन अप लिंक टू बोथ द लिंक्स एंड द वील एंड विच वी नीड हेयर इट्स वील एंड थर्टी एट द सेम थिंग फॉर द एच अपलिंक प्रोफाइल वील एंड फोर्टी अपलिंक अपलिंक वन अपलिंक टू and also i am increasing the mtu from default to 9000 here and probably one of the main thing i have missed i need to increase the mtu on vds as well i am quickly jumping to that and increase the mtu there as well as admin Better at the rate v sphere dot local v where Jumping to the networking tab. This one, this one, this one. Setting, edit setting. It wants. We need to go with nine thousand here. Okay. so it's applicable for every uplink consistent okay so we are done with the profile we learn 30 edge we learn 40 for the edge we learn 30 for the host prior to that also we need to create ip pool edge tap ip pool Forty dot triple one one hundred one sixty eight forty dot one twenty. Forty dot one, forty dot zero, like twenty four is the CIDR. 
and 192, 168, 40.1. Add. We quickly look at the range. This is for the H tab. 192, 168, 40. Dot triple 1 to 120, 10 IPs. That is fine. Save. Second is a host tap IP pool. One ninety two one sixty eight thirty dot triple one two one ninety two one sixty eight thirty dot one twenty. One nine two one sixty eight thirty dot zero slash twenty four one nine two one sixty eight thirty dot one is a gateway. Add. So. Perfect. So we uh, we have both the pool ready. So now moving towards transport node profile for enabling the host preparation. So first we need to go to the host then this is transport node profile under that add transport node profile so the name would be the default transport node profile tnp set host add host switch so we need to call the we center then we need to call the both the zone here then this is the host profile so we need to call the host vds would be the rdx1 ip pool we have defined for the host link one up link two click add apply save so now we need to jump to the cluster We are able to see both the hosts are here, so we need to just click here, configure NSX, select that profile which we have just added right now, and then click on a save. That's it. So now it's going to prepare the NSX. These these hosts are now going to be you know participate under the NSX. What exactly it's going to be doing? It's going to be push 25 pips towards the each and every host so whatever belongs to that cluster so right now we have a two so it's pushing those whips toward those so probably it would take somewhere 10 to 15 minutes so meanwhile i'm pausing the video once it's done we'll resume it so coming back to the host preparation so both the hosts are prepared for the nsx we can see we are able to see both the tap IPs for both the hosts and even if I am trying to ping it from here I'd let should ping it 30 dot yeah it's pinging All right. Perfect. 